Anyway, here's one of my shaky videos um, from Jeffrey Patch Harrison Extraordinaire. My next door neighbor's phone has decided to go off. It always does that when I do a video. Uh, this is the Senex N60 3G mobile network radio. I've got this one slightly used from a gentleman who I cannot remember uh, for 175. Um, don't really use the 3G bit, uh, but I do have a card that I occasionally use. So I'm going to show you what you get inside. There is an addition, there's a power pack in there that's not supplied with the power pack originally. Uh, he sent me this paperwork. Um, there was no manual with it, uh, just a couple of bits of paper for instructions. And what you get in there. Uh, let's try and unmove the screen on that phone. Sorry about the um, the shadow, you move your head and uh, because I've got lights behind me they cast a shadow. There's not really a lot you can do about it. So I tried to stand back and then it makes it all difficult for me to handle anything. This is the unit itself. I'll just take it out of the box. Um, that is... So I've got... There's four boxes in there. Um, so I'll introduce to you what's in each box. But the bracket is not in there because that's screwed to a board so I couldn't really use that. Um, so that's what you get. You get a bigger box and uh, you get those. You get four boxes. On the box is a picture of a power pack. You do not get that power supply. Uh, you have to buy that. I don't know why you have to buy it over here. Um, so what I'm going to do is open the first box, uh, excuse the shadow, I'll try and um, do the camera so I don't get the shadow. Uh, there's a warning sticker, that was stuck on the top of the radio, it looked really tacky so I took it off. Do not transmit without the antenna installed, 10 to 24 without high temperature, do not touch. It doesn't get hot, it's a load of eye wash. And inside you get like a plastic bag. This is um, another bag I had because uh, the plastic one seemed rapidly demised by the time I had a go at it. And what you do, you get a mobile head unit. It looks very really similar to a Kenwood. Uh, what you do is you unpack the, the, the thing and um, that's it. That's the Sun Epson 60. It looks a little bit like a tri-bounder uh, Kenwood. Uh, clicky button, uh, turn it over on the bottom, there's an SD card slot, a SIM card slot, number on the bottom which I will polish this up and then polish the writing off the label but then mine still there but uh, the plastic thing is on the front, I put it back on for this little demo uh, because that was, I, I've already wired this up to test it. Uh, if you have a look, there's the case. It's very, very well made. Uh, it's very well made. Uh, when I got it, I couldn't seem to get the, um, the USB socket going on the back. So I undid the four screws. I thought um, there was something wrong. And also this... Power socket was actually loose. They didn't bother to do up the nut on it. The nut was loose. Uh, on the back, there's a USB socket. That is for putting in software. It does not run one of those keyboards because I've tried it. Uh, there is a headphone socket, uh, which is there, which is extremely useful. A GSM socket and some kind of GPS antenna. Uh, so that's the unit itself, and what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to start it up so you can see it working. Um, so the unit will go on there. Inside this box is the microphone, or as I call it, the microphone. And it's one of those microphones that, um, if you've got arthritis in your hand, it's a real killer. It's a real killer. Yeah, it's a real killer, this microphone. Uh, it's been very painful. 
uh, uh, to, to press these type of microphones. Uh, this, believe it or not, is a Kenwood, a Kenwood microphone. Oh, I got all these bits in there. Yeah, it's a Kenwood microphone. Um, I checked the wiring. So any Kenwood microphone, or even you could even use a desk mic and use a Kenwood lead keypad. Your merit keypad. Um, RJ connector, nothing really special, is it? Just an ordinary microphone. I'll keep this on, this white thing on here. In here, the small box, this is the thin box. I'm sort of undoing the boxes one at a time. You've got a GPS antenna, a microphone bracket, and a little antenna for a screw on the back. Um, so that's the GPS, that's the connector for putting the microphone in and the little antenna. What we'll do is we'll just put those up there. Uh, in the next box, uh, you'll find uh, this power pack. This power pack was not supplied. I bought that off, off the internet. What you get is a power lead with three wires on it. Um, hang on. The uh, three wires, very interesting about this cable. Uh, there's the cable. The red and the black you use. The blue one is for ignition if you have it installed in a car. You do not need to use the blue one if you're using it at home. Or a cigarette adapter. So we'll put that back in the box because I 't going to use it because I don't have a car. Uh, you have two side things to screw the thing to. And there's the little power pack. Uh, we'll put that up here. And I want to show you a little thing that somebody did for me. There's the bracket. And uh, Charlie from Gozo managed to make me this piece of wood. Sent it all the way from Malta. On there, <coughs> pardon me, is the bracket. I got the burps tonight. And... So what we're going to do is we're going to screw the set to it. If you just let, uh, forgive me for putting it down. Uh, what you do is you just put it into the um, in between the two sort of springs of the um, unit and um, do it up. I like it angled up quite far because I don't see that well and I need it to be up. Um, I'm sort of blind and deaf at the same time, um, so that's what you do, you just screw this on. Um, on the back, there's the top corner, is the, um, this is how it looks on the um, stand, like that. Now what you need to do is turn it round and screw your antenna onto that thing on the back. I may have angled up too far. I may need to lower it, but never mind. What we'll do is we'll put that little antenna onto it. Uh, it's quite easy to do. You just hold one bit, turn the nut on it, and I've put it on 3G for, for this particular demonstration. Um, and then you just move the antenna up. And the good thing about the antenna socket is it's keyed inside the radio so if you do do the nut up tight it's not going to spin the power pack uh, what we'll have to do is put it in here because otherwise I'll lose the light if I plug it this way plug it in the wall be careful you don't plate, plate the plastic pin on it plug that into the network radio into the back okay, so it looks like a three pin microphone socket just plug that in uh, the microphone then plugs into the front. Don't bother with the GPS antenna, I'm not going to bother with it. Uh, you plug the, the microphone into the front. And um, I've also got one of those pens. So that's basically what it looks like. You've got the antenna thing sticking out the top like, um, uh, like an erect. What's its name? Uh, yeah, we could all do with a couple of extra inches, couldn't we, of aerial? I know what you're thinking, but trust me, some people have funny minds and some people do not. And what we'll do now is we'll remove that piece of plastic and you'll be able to see the screen.
I'll keep that aside. It's now time to start it up. What you do is you just press the button in, hold it in, and it should come up with the little Android sign. Now this is running Android 4.4.2. Um, not quite sure why it's that low, but it's made like it. It's because it's a hybrid unit. It's using mobile phone and network radio technology. That's why it's done. So it's going to take a while to start up. What I've got installed on here, I've got... Um, I haven't got Zello on this one, it's only on my tablet. Um, I've got Echo Link. Unfortunately, I can't get the mic to key on it. It's uh, to do with the um, the drivers on the ROM. doesn't allow Echo Link to key up. You still have to press the screen. But what I tend to use is um, something called Peanut. It's an amateur radio app. It's funny because Peanut, that's weird. What's monkey food got to do with radio? And in there is my card. And uh, the it's on my Wi-Fi at the moment. It says the Wi-Fi is a bit low. But it's still working. I expect I'll still be looking at that. Um, and I go up to the screen. I've got Echo Link Peanut. And if I do the page over, I've got TeamSpeak. Flick it backwards. Uh, press Nut P and just hope it will load up. Connect up to it. I'm on the Maltese room. Now the Maltese room is where I speak to my friend Charlie. Did you just sign in? Well of course I bloody signed in your plonker here and anybody else is it? And you just go down to the English room hoping there's somebody on there. Uh, connect. It's connected. There's no bugger on it. That's, that's finished. You find that, you do a demonstration, and uh, there's nobody on there, uh, so we better give out a call. Uh, just doing a YouTube video, my friends, so I wonder if anybody can come back and just say a quick hello. Uh, this is Jeffrey on his Senex N60 N0 PRF, Shapton Mullet in Somerset. Um, just doing a little YouTube demonstration on the Senex N60. Oh, well, thank you, Gerald. Very nice to speak to you. I can't remember the call sign. My, head, my head's gone. Um, I'm in the United Kingdom in a small town called Chapter Mallet. Uh, well, I call it the Disunited Kingdom because uh, everybody's falling apart here. The whole country's falling apart. Uh, politics, I'm afraid. Uh, it's a bit divisive at the moment. But thank you for coming in from the US. I'm in Chapter Mallet in Somerset. Uh, believe it or not, that's where the oldest prison in the country is. It's not used as a prison now. It's a museum. And you can go pay and be locked in the slammer for a day. And you have to pay for that. It also says on the sign that kids can go free. I thought, so if anybody wants to send their kids to prison and don't want them, they can always drop them at Shatamalek Prison and come and pick them up later. So, 70 degrees and bye-bye. So that is. So we got a guy from America, another funny call sign from America. They got more call sign variants than anywhere else. But that is Nut P, and um, the other one will disconnect from that. Press backwards at disconnects, press that, go over to TeamSpeak. Uh, this is a thing that uh, uh, some amateurs are using at the moment. They use not on the IRN Crosslink server. Um, not that many on here. Pity, because it's actually quite nice. Loading the channel list. Come on, I don't want all this bloody nonsense. Oh look, if I key up, the light keys up. That's me on there. Um, this is the welcome room. Nobody on there. Hardly ever any, any, anybody on this one. Uh, on the weekday. It's pretty busy on the weekends. Um... And I go on very often on the multi-mode link, QSO in nets. Uh, I press the wrong one. Bugger. QS. Yeah, that's the trouble even with that. There you are. Michael. 
Welcome to the Friendship Net. Nice to have you with us. Go ahead, please. Uh, that's a Zello crosslink. It's uh, got Bill Kiyoso in that. Yeah, well, thank you for uh, writing the net. Uh, I don't really have a lot to share. I just wanted to check in and, and uh, make sure all the equipment here is still working. So it works quite and, well. Uh, it's um, uh, The only thing you'll find this, no, with this no, unit really is that the... Um, uh, I'm part of the Papa system here. And, uh, it's the speakers on the back. So it can make it a little bit hard if you like me in a bit deaf, but you can use uh, a Bluetooth speaker, and I'm running um, an Orky Eclipse speaker on it at the moment. So what we'll do, we'll close out of that, disconnect on that, works very well. The only thing that doesn't tend to work very well on it is Echo Link. Echo Link is a pain. And my suggestion is not really to use it. What happens with Echolink is that um, when you want to change room, you have to close out of it and restart it. It's an absolute menace. Um, it um, really needs some real work doing on it. Connect to the, oops, down to the Echo test. Welcome to the Echolink test server. This server records your transmissions and plays them back to help you adjust your transmitted and received audio. Please feel free to connect as often as you like. There you are. I've configured it. Key the microphone. It doesn't key up and it's a fault with this unit with uh, compatibility with Echolink. So you still have to press the transmit. 1, 2, 3, 4, And then... See, you can't um, key this thing, it's a pain. And the other thing I wanted to say very quickly about Echolink, a lot of people have complained the audio was too loud on Echolink and they can't turn the audio down. And I will tell you how to solve that problem. Uh, you uh, make sure when you press the speaker symbol that you're on speaker. Press the speaker symbol, make sure it's on speaker. Close out of that. Get out of it. Go onto the dots at the top, press settings, okay, go down and it says uh, audio stream, if I just try and do that it says audio stream. What you do is you press audio stream and you're left with two options, one says voice call and one says music, select music, if you do that you will then have no problem with your audio. So you select music, close out of that. How's my neighbour's phone going again? There's no bugger ring. It's no good keep ringing the number, is it? Yeah, the lady next door to me is quite old, and that phone is going 24-7. And there's no need of it. She's not in. They rang 10 minutes ago. There's no answer on the phone. It's quite obvious she ain't bloody there. Oh, she is there. She answered the bloody phone. Perhaps she's had two phone calls then. I don't know. Uh, so, uh, so I don't know how many... She must have been upstairs and has limped down the stairs. Oh, we're closed out of Echo Link. Do you want to get out of it? Yes. And the way... What you will need with this particular rig, it's worth having best Wi-Fi keeper. That keeps your Wi-Fi connected even if it's weak, like it is down here. Keep that. That's Wi-Fi Keeper. You can't go wrong with it. And uh, that's it. You can't go wrong with that. And uh, the idea is to put on as little as you need. Just put the, your radio apps on the best Wi-Fi Keeper. The other thing is you'll notice is that the screen on these units tends to keep going out. The best way to do that is to install an app called Stay Alive. This app here called Stay Alive, it's probably out of focus, stay alive um, I'll press on it and I'll try and see if I can find out who it's by nothing's happening come on it's called stay alive what this does is it allows the screen to stay on when the app is open so the screen doesn't keep going off all the time so if you have an issue where you're having problems but the screen keep going up put stay alive go and look for stay alive 
and press keep screen on while charging and uh, keep screen only when selected apps are on and able selected apps you put this on it's absolutely excellent absolutely excellent it, it, it's really frustrating when your screen turns off excuse me I moved the camera there it really works well we're going to turn this off now and the way you turn this off very very simple it's not like a lot of the network radios you press it and it reboots and you can't turn it off you just press that it says do you want to power it off yes you do and it says yes okay and all this nonsense it wants to double check and then it will power down uh, a bit like the robot on uh, Lost in Space. Power down and return to your docking station. And I'll just do a little quick spin around the back so you can actually see what I mean by the speaker being on the back. The speaker is there. Not the best place for a speaker, but there's nowhere else to put it, so that's where it's been put on. Um, that wooden plate came from my friend and goes, Oh, Charlie, and I know tell for Charlie Mike. Uh, a good man, good friend of mine, very generous, very kind. I thought I'd give him a plug while he was on here. And we chat most days. So if you want to have a chat to me and around the world, if you go on 7 o'clock most night onto Peanut, onto the Malta room or the Maltese room, you'll hear me and this other chap talking. When I'm in, of course, and I'm not out there chasing down the girls, uh, you can imagine that Asperger's Syndrome man trying to find a girlfriend. I don't think I've had a girlfriend in 20 years. I'm not sexy. I'm boring. I talk endless about radios and about watches and cameras. Uh, they're not interested in that, of course, are they? They want to know all about their celebrities. They want to know about uh, Jeremy Kyle and all these people and soaps and game shows. The sort of thing that bores me to tears but interests them. Uh, now I know why I haven't got any girlfriends. I don't like Jeremy Kyle. I don't like the game shows. I don't like Neighbours. I don't like, uh, what's well, it, the other one, Home and Away and all the rest of them. They all got the same plot anyway. But um, all they're watching the television, being brainwashed by the BBC. And so I never watch the BBC anyway. Uh, why do you think I'm so intelligent? Uh, because... I haven't had um, 50 years of brainwashing. Anyway, 73s everyone, hope you enjoy my video and brief demonstration on the Sunex M60 network radio. This is the 3G model, they have now bought out a 4G model. A couple of weeks after I bought this one, I was spitting feathers. I thought, there I am, buy the bloody wrong thing. Then they bring the better model out, and um, just after I bought the one I've got. So um, I'm sort of um, pissing razor blades at the moment. Bye bye everyone, 73.